guys it is that wonderful time of weekend again can you believe it we're here it's saturday it's a great time it's a great time to play some light seekers yes it is how's everyone doing today it looks like i still have my same setup for eternal as i did where i actually could have these things up here these are really nice you know uh this is obviously one thing that i'm always pushing for on uh on light seekers is that their ui layout is not really Twitch streamer friendly, and I'm it kind of kind of upsets me um, because there are a lot of cool, a lot of cool. Um, oh lord, I have like everything turned on. There are a lot of cool things on here. Nope, nope, that's not the right one. That one, that one, that one, and there we go. There are a lot of cool things on these streamer layouts that you can have. That just it really makes it nice to be able to stream and have them all up, so people can like you know feel participated in the stream. Ranglethor, good morning, sir. How are we doing today? Um, but yes, we are here. We are happy to play some Light Seekers today. Now, as you can all read, the beautifulness of the Midsummer Weekend. I did not know what this was. This is the first time I logged into it, so I'm finally understanding what it is. It looks amazing. Because it reads, the longest day of the year is upon us. On this day, the Yakona hosts celebrations and offerings to the Solar Maiden Mina. To join in their festivities, all draft roar chests over the weekend, except for Gold Champion 1, will also contain Astral Cards. Additionally, a great deal on Astral Cards can be found in the store. Now, I jumped in here and wanted to play draft regardless. Getting some bonus rewards in my draft chests, awesome. Happy to do it. Now... Uh, I do have a, uh, I'm going to be making a video later today uh, about my thoughts on a bunch of other things I'm going to try and do. Like I said, one a weekend, put them on YouTube, so look forward to that uh, one today. I'm still up in the air of uh, making a video about player-to-player -player interactivity in the game, or about how Light Seekers, at least how I would like to see it progress forward in a lot of aspects uh, in the game and in the in the app in general. So um, as we go through this today, if you guys have any uh, uh, requests or, um, I guess, preferences on which one I do this weekend, please let me know, because I'm more than happy to do it for you guys. Um, One sec, someone on Discord just asked when I got live. I thought I'd figure I'd tell them I'm live right now. Let me give him a Thunderfin salute because that's just the kind of guy I am. Beautiful. Beautiful way to go. Brig Briz, good morning, sir. How are we doing? But, uh, yeah. So I figured, you know, today, just play some, play some draft. Drafting is fun. Drafting is what it's all about. We also, actually, we do have a new chapter in the Colossi Fine to do. That I have not touched yet. We might have to do this first. We might have to do this first. Because I am a fan of, of the single-player campaign stuff. It makes me feel good to do that. So we might have to do the single-player. Then we'll do some drafting. Um, and then while I'm live, uh, I want to spend at least... Oh, I don't know, probably an hour, hour and a half. Because um, in, in the Eternal League that I started on Wednesday, with, with the amazing Lolly at the third, if he joins in, please give him a Thunderbird salute. Otherwise, everyone here, that's for you guys. Um... I did join the league, and today is the day where I get to open two more packs to then adjust my deck. So I do want to do that at the end of the stream, because otherwise I, I have, like, Monday to do it, and I want to do it live with you guys. Uh, but, and then i got to just play some games in my off time to finish that league, because i got, like, 30 games now to do. It's insane uh, to get packs. So I am stuck on the first fairest node on this one with the puzzle buffs. Well, Ranglethor, let me see if we can solve this together, my man. So let's jump in here do this adventure mode, the Lush Lost Forest. Here we go. News of the discovery also reached the Tyrax of Dune's Edge. 
The Tyraks are by nature very curious, not only about science, but also history. Many, quick, er, many quickly started planning expeditions to Lush Lost Forest to investigate. One of these Tyraks was then famed historian Kolax. However, he was not ready for the vast number of Kreeble that swarmed the area. Fancy that. Oh, look at that. So we're going to have... Oh, there's only three. Okay. The Umbron Ambush, the Mysterious Temple, and the Kreeble Jailer. Kreeble Jailer. How fancy. Pipe Badger, welcome to the channel, my man. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Storm Cloud. I remember you watching you do it, but I can't get past it. It is an older segment. Oh, really? This guy's just uh, a replay? Reduce damage from attacks by two. Ability select a buff your target controls. Deal damage equal to its current value. Ooh. Okay. I do like... Someone else will post, uh, post it on the Discord. I do like the simple fact that they show how much health he actually starts with. As opposed to like, it's just 25 and then you go and like, ah, oh, it's 75. And you're like, uh, no, what? What just happened here? Uh... No, the one I'm stuck on is older. I'm behind about a week or two. Oh, okay. Trying to... Th I, there there were some tricky ones in the past. I do remember that. Um, uh, what, do you know which one it is? Just the name of it? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. And then I can go back and I can kind of remember what he did. But this one, I feel like this one is obviously going to be a buff one. I feel like Farapang is going to be our best chance. Uh, Fair Pain just does really consistent buff damage. Not a lot of them are high numbers. So, like, the most he'll be able to do to us is, like, three or four. Maybe, like, five or six if I put out the Behemoth. But otherwise, Creeble Jailer, I feel like just a Fair Pain is good here. Our Fair Pain is good here. We do really good things with Fair Pain. So we're just going to run that. Uh, not without looking. It is the one where you play Ferris to get the three stubborn buffs uh, off the board to... Oh, that one. Yeah, that one took me like three or four tries. That one's difficult. That one is really difficult because yeah, you have to you have to sway the council to join you in your re in your revolt. That one was difficult. That one did take me quite a few times because I think that was the one where I was like, "How do they expect you to beat this with this deck?" And then like after a while, I finally was able to do it, and I was like, "I just have to get really lucky on the draws here," because that was super difficult, super difficult. Um, also, I'll go ahead and say I, I am um, in the process of also getting my internet speed upgraded. So I'm hoping, cross my fingers here, hoping that sometime within the next few weeks, I can start streaming at a higher quality as opposed to 720. Because I know, I know good streamers like to listen, watch uh, uh, like 1080p. That's what I'm aiming for right now. So 1080p streams will be bumping that. I saw I could like double my speed by just adding 20 bucks a month. And I was like... That's fine with me. I'll pay 20 bucks a month extra to do this. So, look for better quality streams as well. Um, yeah, if you don't draw the right cards, you don't win. RNG hates me, apparently. Well, I don't hate you. I'm trying to think of a middle initial for Razor and Greshu, just so I, so I can be RNG. But, I don't hate you. I just, I favor the lucky. And you've apparently used up a lot of your luck already with that amazing Tundra deck of yours, Ranglethor. Mmm. Okay, so. Probably should not have taken a bite if I'm going to read this epilogue. Got cat hair. It's everywhere flying around here. I got a fan on me, so the cat hair is just... Anyway. Shall we begin? As you get close to the temple grounds, you hear someone shout. Okay. I don't know if it's male or female. So I don't know what to do. Oh, it's Co oh, it's Colax. Okay. Okay. Now I know what kind of voice to do. <clears throat> As you get close to the temple grounds, you hear someone shout. <coughs> let, let, let me go, I say. The demand is answered with grunts and threats, clearly Kreeble. 
As you get closer, you see Colax trapped in a shoddy cage, surrounded by Kreeble. Let's do it. Let's do it. And you know what the best thing to do here? The best thing to do. Or do we mill him? I have been having a lot of fun with my mill deck lately. And, and actually, like, the highest number it has in mill is five. And all my stuff is through defense. Maybe I just mill him. Maybe I just mudstruck him. Mudstruck could be fun. I feel like milling is actually the better answer here. He does have 60 health. I don't hate you, I just favor the lucky. Exactly, that's like my new motto. Wait. Deal five damage to your captor if any hero discards a card. Is this... Is he the captor? Who's the captor here? I feel like... So, I just have to make him discard. This is amazing. This is a... See? I favor the lucky at all times. Mud Turtle, how we doing? Dude, I, I went in here thinking about Farapang, and I was like, wait a second. My mill deck that Mud Turtle basically built, and I played because I really liked it, and made, like, one change with an Epic Banquet... I could play this, because it doesn't have a lot, a lot of buffs. And now if I make him discard, he takes more damage. Everything is looking up, Razor. What is this? Well, that's just rude. Who lets this guy play tentacles? Um, Man, I got nothing. I got nothing here. Alright, Daybreak Brawler's fine, I guess. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Brig Briz, have fun with the kids. Tell them all we say hi. You know, we're a nice family unit like that. We could put Eternal Dawn down. And have Epic Banquet in our hand as the only card. I don't feel I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's right at all. Well, now we have Vibrant Glare. I don't even know what to do this deck anymore. This is this is insane. Yeah, so I just got to keep making him discard cards. I'm awesome with that. Oh, it does it twice because he discarded two. That feels amazing. Um, And I think we Vibrant Glare here. So we're going to take, what, nine damage? Just a lot of pain next turn. Look at, finally we get a Crystal Leech. What are the odds? Probably pretty good, but we just didn't do it. And a Thunder Slug. I was gonna say, if he removes this without using his ability. So we're gonna take. Oh god, we're taking 14 damage. This did not line up well for me at all. Alright. So. I think leeching that one and that one are fine. Those are fine to do. Uh, then we pass. Vile Breath Creeble. This thing is going to be a lot of damage. This thing is 9 damage on each corner with this, with this little buff out here. Who 
Who invented this card? Hmm? Who invented that card? Not I, said the sailor. Not I. So we'll do this. And I think we'll crystallize her. See what he moves back. Just wanted to move one card back, that's all. Just, just lower his hand just a little bit. Just a teeny little bit. Who... Who said that card was a good idea? Can we discuss this? Can we have a, a, a long, hard discussion about how that card is busted? Delzo1, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub for six months in a row, dude. I think... I think, Dells, I think you got up. I think you got a new badge. I'm pretty sure that's a new badge for you, Dells. I think you're into the gold now, if I'm not mistaken, for six months. No, silver. So bronze, then to silver. That's right. Way to go, man. Thank you very much for sticking around this entire time. I'm glad my uh, my shenanigans have been have been quaint and fun to deal with. So I think I'll lay that down, and let's hope he doesn't have a thunder slug. I milled one of them already. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. This is great. Two damage for me. Rang, I did not even notice that he was actually rocking an item. At the start of your turn, if your deck is empty, move one card from your discard pile to your hand, and two cards from your discard pile to your deck. So really, he can't be milled. He He's unable to be milled, but this whole mill strategy is working flawlessly for us. And I think I actually blinding beetle him, so I can heal a little bit. Ooh, that deluge. That deluge, what a great one. And we do have the Lunar Shrieker. This gem rough is just 10 damage. So I'll take four when these expire. That's fine. That's fine. Pipe Badger, how are we doing? Thank you very much for the follow, man. I appreciate it. I think we'll get back that Kreeble. I think we'll lay it. I think we'll lay it. Um. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he does. Next turn, I can do this for literally 10 damage with that buff. So hopefully we're not dead. Hopefully we're not dead. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I win. I 100% I win. Because this, this one buff here is 9 damage. 2 from me, and then 5 from Colax. And then Gemruff is literally 10 from Colax. Because he discards 1 from his hand and 1 from his deck. No, he was at 17. I had... I would have had lethal... What? Can we, can we get that so that it doesn't show up? Over the card. So if I had lethal last turn, how did I, how did I have lethal last turn? Because the turn before, if I would have generated, he was at seventeen. If I would have rotated the Kreeble, the Kreeble would not have done the extra two damage. My weapon wouldn't have done two damage because he negates attacks. So it would have been. Uh, actually, Fang would not have done 11. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you saw much. His his ability says he negates two da two damage from every attack. So Fang would have done zero. The Kreeble would have done two. Yeah, two plus five is. Yeah, I guess you're right. It would have been. I had two actions, didn't I? Yeah. The math checks out. Math checks out. I had lethal last turn. I lived. I live life on the edge. I live life on the edge. This is why I have uh, coaching from Laliet, so I don't miss lethal. But yeah, I did have lethal last turn. I had uh, seven from rotating it, five and two, and then I had a uh, gem rough. You are absolutely right, sir. 
the mysterious temple. <coughs> Thank you ever so much for rescuing me, Colax exclaimed while collecting his things. I, I, I would like to, to... I would stay and chat, but I, I really must see what this temple... Before you have a chance to respond, Colax has made his way through the entrance to the Great Colossi Temple. Colax is very, very ambitious. He's, he's a person who just doesn't care. He's like, you know what? I see a temple. I'm going to hit it. Before you say no, I'm going to do it. This strange, ancient temple has never been explored until now. False. I believe the people who made it explored it. Just putting that out there. Unless, unless it was made by nature, which I don't think it was, the people who built it were the first explorers. You going through withdrawals not playing Eternal right now? <laughs> I got my, I got my daily win this morning before I, before I stream. So I got my pack. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Eternal like the last hour, hour and a half of today so I can uh, get my new two packs for the League and see if I can play some more in the League. But I, I have been playing Eternal quite a bit, yes. If you built it, does it really count as exploring it? I don't think so, actually. I think the definition of exploring is to discover something new. And if you built it, you know everything about it. But still... Still, how does he know he's not? How does he know he's the first one? How does he know he's the first one? I feel like you should find a corpse in there. And be like, oh, I guess I was not the first one. Darn it! Oh well, second explorer. Here we go. But it's overgrown beyond be. It's overgrown beyond belief, and wildlife is everywhere. Deal one damage to your target at the start of your turn if you have twenty or more health. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's a pre-made deck. Okay, awesome. And it starts with a mini Colossi Skybeam power. I mean, it is legitimately a Colossi Temple Beam. One damage instead of two. Yeah. Sarcophagus. Uh, perform two deciphers? Investigations. And remove debris to uncover the mystery. And win the game. What could this be? It has a dormant energy that can't be described. So I need to perform two deciphers, investigations, and remove debris. So I gotta perform, what, two of these things? We just... It says burn stubborn corners one and two. Rotate this one step forward when you remove any of your buffs. Corner to three, defendability, check results. What? Restart this buff if you take damage. Corners one and two, deciphering. What is what is deciphering? It's just it just it's an open ended word. Uh corner three is check results, investigate. Restart this if your target attacks. Corners one to three, investigating, cornered check results. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. And shouldn't take me long to figure this out. That's what they all say. So I'll take one damage. You're all monsters. They're all real monsters. Okay. So I'm going to put this down. Start taking this away as much as I can. And put a ramparts down. Hold on. What do I have the... Okay, so I have Shadow. Ability, if you have ten or more cards in your discard pile, move two action buffs to your deck, then draw three cards. That's amazing! Alright, I finally feel like my hero in these runs has a great ability. Let's do this. Let's do this. So I'll block all that. I will take one, which will restart this. That does nothing. Oh, okay, so it's still going to do one. Darn it. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I feel like we can just pass here. We don't need to put remove debris down. Until next turn when we were about to defend this away. 
As long as he doesn't attack us. So that'll restart. Okay. So we're about to get rid of this one, which is great. Checking these results. Aha! This explains some of this. Okay. We do have another ramparts to prevent some more damage so this thing can... Well, actually, I might just be able to rotate this out next turn. Which I can do. Awesome. So, yeah, really, I don't care too much about damaging him. I just need to get these things off. Solid AI play. Sip it by a permanent buff. At least it's not, like, this side. Right? Oh, okay. So I literally have to do this on this to rotate this. Okay. Because I removed my own buff. That makes sense. What? That's pretty dope. That's pretty amazing. Um... I'll just put another one of these out and then pass. Because they they have stubborn and burn. So the, having them two out will... Okay, that's fine. I can put a repair bot down. Which I might need to do. I think I need to save the ramparts. For when... Uh, I get my other uh, decipher because I need it to prevent me from taking damage. Just a lot of animals in here. I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I'll lay another repair bot. Fine by me. It's completely fine by me. Pass. We we need more of the uh, deciphers and investigations because I apparently need to do two of them. Thank God I saved unstable defender for those mantix hatchlings. So there's a in, in this one there's a lot of key cards that you need to save for a lot of really certain cards in your opponent's deck. Like, the Ramparts, you need to save for the uh, the Deciphers. These you need to save for his Mantix Hatchlings. Yeah, there's just, there's just a lot of things you need to be wary of. Warp Toad, interesting. Remove this. Oh, okay. Well, second repair bot. I mean, I guess that's fine. Whoo! Okay, I could just be, like, extremely dead here soon. Yeah, I think I do this one. I need to get that hashlings out of here as soon as possible. Oh, if he has more than 20. Okay, so I do still need to... How rude of you. How extremely rude of you. So I do still need to do damage to him because that mysterious temple is just going to kill me, right? That mysterious temple's still just gonna kill me with its ability.
Also, where are my other investigation stuffs? Maybe I do just need to put ramparts down here so I don't die. Okay, that helps. It's actually a really good one right now. those two will be fine and then I can pass Let's do this the smart way. All right. Let's do that the smart way. So I, I really need to find a way to... Okay. Maybe I put the Blast Fruit Defender down. Maybe I just pass? Because I don't need to trigger this yet. I don't need to trigger that yet. How would Leaking Generator not just kill me? Also, I've yet to find any real combo buffs. Alright, I finally got a Decipher. That's amazing. And a Ramparts. My god, it's a lot of animal. Can you use Hero, hero Ability yet? Uh, I probably can, yeah. Uh, but like these decipher investigations, they all have burn. I, it, I'm trying to think, is it good to do it? One's... Oh, actually, it's just, it's... Yeah, I can use the hero ability. Wait, why did... What just happened there? Why did that do that? Why did investigate just go like... Sh what? What? Yeah, I can draw three. It'll move it'll move ten back. Or move two back and draw three. I have been not using that. I thought it was like move ten back and draw three. I have not been using that properly. Um I think actually that's probably fine. Uh, I'll move this one. Yeah, I'll move both those back. But investigation is on top. Why was investigation on top? Why did I get to put investigation on top? Someone... Does anyone know why I was able to do that? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wait, why did that go on top suddenly? Bane Bloom, okay. I do have a Ramparts for this. And actually, Leaking Generator 
removes the buff so I can use this. See, now it's on top. Why is why is that on top now? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, why was it on top? And then I feel like I can just put leaking generator down to So I need What this will be a second one, this will be the first, this will be a second. I just need to get all these buffs to go. Is essentially what I need right now. So I need to start using the abilities. It heals me too? I am so confused as to what some of these cards do. How did I just get healed now? That's the start of your turn, so I still have one more turn of Ramparts. I am, I am like, so utterly confused as to what's happening right now. So I'll take one. No, I won't. Ramparts will literally block everything. Wait, that's on corner three as well? Well, guys, I didn't think that through. I did the wrong stinking ability. I should have done this one if I would have known that. I think I'll put down the defender as well just to make sure. Just to make sure I don't take damage. Alright. So I can remove one of my leaking generators almost at any time. Just don't attack me. That's a defend. Defending is fine here. Okay, there's an attack. I'm guessing he's removing the ramparts. That's probably the better one for him to do anyway. Oh! Interesting. Okay, get that one out of the way. We're good. We're golden. Now I have three actions. Like... What is happening? I don't... It's like, Is it all just a random ability that I get? Like, sometimes I heal, sometimes I do this? This is all very strange to me as to, like, how I'm getting all this stuff off of the deciphering. You said RNG was out there, and it is on this matchup. This is very strange. If he removes this again... Okay. Well, there goes my last one I can remove. Might need to get those back. Just so I have buffs that I can just remove. Then I'll draw three.
I mean, this one's just dead because of that. So if I just remove those two, he doesn't get to, you know, get the benefit from it. Okay, so I can, I can just demolition bot a buff now. And get this one done. So now if he just doesn't attack me next turn, I win. And then I heal for five. I have no idea what's happening anymore. So just no attacks. Buffs are fine. And another buff. Awesome. Actually, I'm going to hammer down first to get more points. Because buff removal is, gets you a lot of points in this match. This one was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Wait. I mean, I'm not going to lie, that was an awesome cinematic, but I was like, what is happening right now? Look at those robot cards that I just played. Feels good. Get me some gems. Almost. So close. I feel like that one's not that hard to get the fit the third star on, though. So let's check out this Umbron ambush, shall we? Investigation always drew two, decipher always gave you two free actions, and remove debris always healed for five. Oh really? Okay. I mean, if it, if it does that, why not just say that? I was so confused as to why I was getting all these things. But if it does that, why not just say it? All right. We have Havoc Guard Ruck. I, 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 I can't believe they have found a Colossus. This is absolutely amazing. Kolax hurried outside, but quickly stops in his tracks. In front of him, a threat far worse than Kribul awaits. A pack of Umbron. Hmm. We'll take it from here. Then, a voice from behind them. No, no you won't! Colax has never met her pr her, her, her... Wait. Oh, Machia. Okay, hold on. That I did the wrong voice. Mm. No, you won't. Colax has never met her in person, but he'd still recognize Machia anywhere. I wonder if we're Machia now. Machia the Unbroken. That'd be pretty sweet. Ability, draw one card face up. If it's an Umbron, heal yourself for one. Play Fusion likes to be secretive. Oh, we're still Colax. Okay. Mud, I mean, when you're right, you're right. Hold up. Okay. So my ability is back to the normal thing. I just have these amazing buffs. I can use another ability this turn. This one just seems like all the memes. That one is just amazing. Um, I feel like we just put this one down. It's like playing with a kid who just keeps making up rules. Kinda, yeah. Record key, like this deck is just insane. If this card is discarded by a card effect, heal yourself for three and move three cards from your discard pile into your deck. 
What? Uh, no, because next turn I can lay Maki the Legendary. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, I heal, I heal five now. Wait, what? Yeah, the card doesn't say it, but it's what happens. It, it's what happens. Well, it's a good thing they have Stubborn. Uh, yeah, those are fine. I wonder if, like, I lay all of them down and this guy just does something insane and kills me. I would laugh so hard. I would laugh so hard if he just, like, straight up murders me. We just drew our time so we can put the last one down. How amazing. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll do that right away. All right, I got the whole the whole gang is here. Well, he knows he's got an Umbron on top. He knows he has an Umbron on top. Oh, that's a good thing I drew the hammer down, then, isn't it? Oh boy. Can't let that thing sit out there. No siree, Bob, I cannot. Now just do four damage to him. Six damage because all my damage is increased. My word. That's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the Zirinkov cannon into play. That just feels fine with me. I don't think I'll need that. Um, I guess or this one. Higgs fusion putting two of these into play would have been amazing. But I'm fine with just being me. Next turn I can Zarenkov. Next turn I can Zarenkov. He's got a Shadow Puppet, but the Alara just allows me to move buffs back into play. That's insane. That is insane. Putting this down to protect me from the three damage. I am running a little low. A little low. Wait. How? Oh, it's from attacks. It's from attacks. I was like, I thought I had damage prevention. What's going on here? I feel like I need to do this. And then still just attack. I need to get some pain going. I need to get some pain going. So I'll take two. There's a Shadow Puppet. Okay. Alara can put that Zarenkov Cannon right back into play. Make me feel super good about myself. Zarenkov. He's got damage prevention right now, so I don't really want to waste an attack. Another Shadow Puppet. Okay.
I might just need to heal for two, and I don't care about drawing the Tyrex and Sorian, that's fine. Healing is a little more important right now, especially since I won't be able to heal. I do have the hammer down for this, so it's fine. Oh, the hammer down feels so good to have right now. Hammer down just feels so good. Mwah. Which one? Soulstorm? Soulstorm is the new, like, OP uh, undead thing. It does four damage plus however many undead buffs are in your discard pile. Then it moves, I think, like, two undead cards from your deck back, or from your discard pile to your hand. Yeah. It's so good. It's so good. I want to say Zarenkov Cannon's about to go off. Next turn. Okay. We do this. Next turn we can demo bot and Alara the Zarenkov Cannon if he doesn't remove it. Well, that's a monster. So I'll take one. It's bound to happen. You'll just take a nice, nice set of pain there. Demo bot. Actually, I just I win. That was super easy. This this week's this week's story campaign is ten times easier than the Ferris one. Oh my word! I I aced all of those without any difficulty. Not a single moment went through my mind where like, man, am I gonna die? No, I crushed these. Uh, yeah, I. It's a lot though. Apparently, yes. Ha! <laughs> you think you have won? Bell bellows the Umbron as they retreat into the dense jungle. <laughs> Carnage was right. You really are stupid. Colax leads the group into the temple to show them what he's found. Only to find the sarcophagus empty. And a massive hole through the wall. Leading out into the jungle. Very interesting. I am liking these campaigns. They're feeling really cool. Like, the storyline is pretty progressive. Some of them felt a little off, like the Ferris one. That one was just, like, a, a, a throw-off one. Because all these other ones, like, all the heroes are meeting up. They're doing an exploration. And then Ferris was just like, I'm going to have a revolt on the side story. And it's like, okay, was it a one-shot campaign? I don't understand what's happening here. But we do have some loot. We do have some nice, nice loot to open up. All right. All right. Play 30 Astro cards. Interesting. Okay. Well, we have a bunch of power cards in Adventure Mode now, so that's pretty sweet. We unlocked a new one of these. Kudos to us. All right. Oh, big morning stretch. Ugh. They need to bring it around and have Ferris meet up with everyone and play nice since he's going to be since he can't go back to Exteria anymore. I mean, if, if they're doing that to kind of get Ferris out, to have him meet up with everyone, then yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. But yeah, it's just like, his whole story doesn't really line up with everyone else's yet. Not yet. So guys, with that, we're going to take a a quick break for YouTube editing purposes. That's true. So we're waiting for um, for Jolty, for Commodore Jolty to meet up with them, because that's the hero for Storm and Ferris. 
and Ferris, I'm, I'm assuming, is the hero that we're going to be meeting up with. Now that he's banished. Could be interesting. Could be interesting, as they're all making their own way to something. I do like the story. It's, it's leading up to something really cool. I really wish... I really wish there was like a really good play, uh, writer at PlayFusion who could write a book. Because I feel like this could, this story could be a really good book to, to write. I mean, like World of Warcraft has a lot of good lore books to read. Like, this would be a great book to have all these characters. Kind of like a Game of Thrones style where like each chapter is based on a, par a character's perspective. And it tells their story, their journey of where they are. I think that would be a great story to tell. So, yeah. I can't wait. Alright guys, one sec for video editing purposes, we'll get into draft.